Hi, hello, welcome. My name is Shelly and today we are doing the spooky would you rather book tag. So since it's a tag, we shall just dive right into it, shall we? Yes, yes, yes. Question number one. Thrillers or supernatural? Well, <laughs> I am going to have to go with supernatural. It's I mean, I do like a, a a thriller now and every now and again, but the supernatural, yeah. Question number two, ghosts or zombies? Hmm, well, ghosts are fun and all. If I mean, if you're like in the point of view of the ghost, you can like go through walls and stuff. But mostly that seems to be if you're a ghost, you're just trying to get the attention of the living. Whether it be menacing or because you actually need help getting out of that, that little stage. Uh, so I'm going to have to go with zombies because I can see them and they look disgusting. Although, not being able to see the ghost and have stuff happening around you is scary AF, so no, I'm still going with zombies, because they will eat my brain. Question number three, vampires or werewolves? Ooh. Well, well, I do like a good werewolf. I don't seem to see them all that much, but vampires are everywhere. Not literally, but they are everywhere. I do like vampires. I'm not sure why. I just do. Question number four, witches or demons? Probably witches, but I'm kind of thinking of Charmed, where the witches who fight demons. I mean, demons are fun, but I'm gonna root for the witches. Question number five. Would you rather read a book with 13 chapters or read a book with a black cat on the cover? The number 13 doesn't really give me the heebie-jeebies uh, and usually Friday the 13th for me is a very lucky day. So, but I'm gonna go with black cat on the cover because I do not have enough of those. I don't think I have even one of those. And I do like a black cat. I mean, have you met my cat? Question number six. Would you rather read a spooky book in the dark with only a candle for light or by yourself in a locked, brightly lit room? I'm gonna have to go with the by myself in a brightly lit locked room, uh, mostly because of the, I wanna be able to see the page. And if it's a scary book, it's going to scare me either way. And reading by candlelight is going to be so bad for my eyes. So, yeah. Question number seven. Would you rather face your worst fears or be trapped in the mind of a killer? I would 100% rather face my own fears than be trapped in the mind of a killer. Because I'm pretty sure I would go insane being trapped in the mind of a killer. And, uh... Yeah, I would rather face my own fears. What are my fears? Question number eight. Would you rather watch a scary movie or read a scary book? I mean, the both of them kind of give you different kinds of vibes, let's say. When you watch a scary movie, you get the visuals like directly to you and you, you can have that jump scare effect. But when you read a scary book, it's your own imagination just showing you what the author has written. So, ooh, that is a hard one. I would do both. But if I could only pick one, I would probably pick the book. Yeah. Although, give me a scary movie because those are quite fun. Question number nine. Would you rather read spooky books during the fall time or all year? Well, seeing as I am such a mood reader, I'd rather read them all year round. 
uh, I would rather read them whenever I felt like a scary book rather than just having the full time to read them because yeah I'm thinking I would get bored of them if I would only read them during fall because probably that would be the only kind of book I would read also so let's go all year round so I don't get bored of them Christian number 10, would you rather read 10 spooky books in October or 10 spooky books all year? So that kind of goes hand in hand with the last question and it's, yeah, I would rather read 10 spooky books during the whole year than just during October. And that was all the questions. If you do do this tag, please comment down below, let me know that you have done this tag and I will go watch your video. Yes, I will. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye bye. <laughs>